Hey everyone, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. We're at NAMM 2020, and this is the Fender booth. I'm here with Riley. So, uh, what's new from Fender? So, we got a few things to show you this time. Uh, let's start out with the Elite series. This is a reissue of some guitars that Fender originally made in the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, they featured a slightly smaller body and a pick guard situation that was a little unique compared to the strats of the time. Uh, we have the Lead 2, which comes with two player series single coils. Um, you can see it's got a hard tail bridge, smaller body, but it's a full scale neck. Okay. Okay. And uh, you've got pickup selection and in and out of phase on these sort of unique oh, no toggles like here. Way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a new color, neon green. Uh, we're also doing some reissue colors uh, like the Sienna Sunburst, Olympic White, Crimson Red. Nice. Uh, and then the Lead 3 which features a pair of player humbuckers. Um, you've got the same pickup selection switch here, and then you've got coil splitting. So in the up position, oh. split here, down, split here, in the middle, neither is split. Otherwise, uh, it's the same spec as the lead two. Uh, over here, we have the HM Strats. This is another reissue of a uh, guitar that Fender originally did in the late 80s kind of keeping up with the super strat shred scene. Definitely has you the can vibe, yeah. See the day glow colors and HSS with the Floyd configuration. Um, I love the headstock. It's yeah, the logo it's is super insane. stylized, yeah. These are really cool. We worked with the original factory in Japan, Fujigen, and they still had the original drawings for these, so it was pretty easy to just turn it back on and and uh, make it as accurate as possible. The only thing that's really different from the originals is we use a Floyd Rose bridge this time instead of the Kaler. All right. All right. Um, are these made in Japan? They are. Oh, wow. And uh, this was one of the first Fender guitars to feature this uh, kind of contoured neck heel here for access. Uh, another unique feature on this is the scale length, which is uh, 25.1 inches. So it's a little shorter, but not quite like a medium scale. So for guys who are playing fast runs, it's a little bit easier, a little less of a stretch. These are HM. Uh, pickups in the bridge. It's a hot humbucker. It's about 16k. It's that kind of hot rotted humbucker sound that uh, from the 70s and 80s. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the HM Strat pickups are a little closer. They're just a little overwound from a vintage Strat pickup. Uh, and you've got a coil split here as well. So if you are looking for slightly more traditional Strat tones, you can get those yeah, as well. Get them. Yeah. Jim Root has. Uh, four models with us now, and this is the latest iteration of the Jazz Master for him. Sort of a theme that comes across in all of his guitars. They're very stripped down, just bare bones, what he needs to get the job done. So uh, we've taken the Jazz Master shape, and it's got a hardtail bridge. It's got a pair of Jim Root Signature EMG pickups. You got a volume, and you got a three way switch. Um, and that's job done. Job done, exactly. Uh, other features, of course, are the ebony board with a 12-inch radius. Uh, on this model, it's got blocks and binding uh, and locking tuners. Welcome to Fender's Parallel Universe. It's an incredible lineup here. It's lots of new guitars, right? Yeah, we're very excited about this. This is the second volume for the Parallel Universe. We got such a great reaction to the first round, and this is a super fun collection where we get to play around a little bit with stuff that we wouldn't normally do. Um, I'm very excited about these. Um, so we're standing in front of the Troublemaker Tele right now. Um, this guitar features an ebony fretboard and a pair of humbucking pickups, uh, binding throughout, block inlays, very deluxe Telecaster with a big fat humbucking tone. So these are not the wide range humbuckers. These, these are, are just look the, like them, but right, they have the offset pole pieces. But these are sort of a PAF style humbucking pickup. Rich mid range, nice yeah. low output. Exactly. Moving over here, we have the Tele Magico. This was designed in conjunction with Ron Thorne, one of our master builders in the custom shop. Sort of like a, it looks to me like a kind of a pearl handle revolver, like a cowboy cool kind of guitar. It's got a pair of custom gold foil style pickups in it. Got that perloid binding and inlays all throughout, uh, the chopped Tele bridge, and of course it's a thin line ash body. Um, so super fun, gorgeous guitar. This is the uh, Strat Jazz Deluxe, um, sort of a combination of a Strat 
and a jazz master and then sort of make that as fancy as you can. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got the bound body with the flamey top and transparent finish. You've got an all rosewood neck oh. with a really natural satin feel, so it's super silky. Um, block inlays again. Um, Strat vibrato, so that's also a fun one. Markomatic jazz master. Okay. This is one of the more unique models in the lineup. It's got a mahogany center block with uh, chambered ash right, sides right. and three Seymour Duncan mini humbucker pickups and uh, a classic Jazzmaster vibrato. So a lot of different things coming together wow. that we've never done before. That is it's super classy, super fun to play on um, and really unique. Over here we have probably the most outlandish model, uh, the Maverick Dorado. Uh, That's a headstock. Yeah. So the Maverick is actually a model from Fender's history. Yeah. Uh, in the late 60s, they designed it to use extra excess electric 12 bodies and necks, okay. uh, which is where the long headstock comes from. The body shape is sort of a recontoured electric 12 offset body. And we wanted to bring this back and just do it as deluxe as you could possibly go. So we added the Bigsby Vibrato. Uh, we've got Tim Shaw design Filtertron style pickups. Oh, nice. An ebony fingerboard. Uh, with block inlays and binding, matching headstock and perloid uh, tuning keys. Yeah, uh, the Uptown Strat is uh, sort of our take on a very high-end uh, luxury Strat. Uh, it's got a pair of PAF style humbucking pickups, um, a mahogany body, and uh, medium jumbo frets, and uh, what is the neck material? Is it normal? It's uh, a mahogany neck, actually. Mahogany, so that's why. It's all mahogany with a rosewood board. Uh, it's got the block inlays. It's still got the Strat vibrato. And uh, finally, we have the Jazz Strat over here. Uh, sort of the inverse of the Strat Jazz. Uh, we've got the Jazzmaster pickups, bridge, and vibrato uh, on the Strat body. A custom Deco Boom streamlined pickguard with the surf green pinstripes. Yeah, uh, Three-way toggle, master volume, master tone. Insane. Matching headstock, and blocks and binding. Yeah, yeah. That pig guard is. Yeah, the pig guard. It needs all up. my attention. I cannot yeah. look anywhere else. Yeah, <laughs> love the sure. stripes. Oh wow, nice, beautiful. I've yeah. seen a really interesting guitar there with the mirror guards. Yeah, let's check that out. So this was a super fun project uh, to recreate one of Tom's iconic instruments. Um, the Soul Power. Uh, this was originally a designer series guitar that he bought at Guitar Center in the early 2000s and of course heavily modified and customized uh, with the Soul Power graphic. He's got uh, the kill switch right here for the stutter effects. Um, you've got the mirror pick guard of course and uh, dome knobs. And uh, another thing that he did to his original guitar was add a locking tremolo. Okay. Um, so we've recreated that guitar um, with the flat top body, with the binding. We added a Floyd Rose locking tremolo, Seymour Duncan hot rails in the bridge, and Fender vintage noiseless in the neck and middle. Um, and this is going to come uh, without the decal applied, so you can choose whether you want to do that or not. Okay. Um, okay. That'll come in the case. And uh, locking tuners. It's a rosewood board with a compound 9.5 to 14 inch radius. So super playable, super fun guitar. And uh, if you're a fan of Tom's, you're going to love this thing. Oh man, thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, I wish you the best slam show ever. You guys uh, take it easy and uh, check out all the other stuff from Fender, Squire, and all the other cool stuff. We'll be back with other videos. Make sure to check out the hashtag TonAm20 and subscribe to the channel. Cheers, guys.